Kenyan MPs have voted to become the first country to pull out of the International Criminal Court. But the ICC says President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy, William Bruto, will still go on trial for crimes against humanity. The ICC has added two new witnesses in the case facing Deputy Ruto, whose trial starts next week. They are accused of orchestrating violence that left more than a thousand people dead following the elections of 2007. The court says any plan to leave would take at least a year to finalize and the current trials will continue as planned. The ICC chief prosecutor has noted that uh, or has said that she intends fully to push ahead with the trials regardless of what the Kenyan parliament and the Kenyan government does. But at the same time, um, Kenya in, in moving this way in, in parliament, uh, adopting this motion to formulate a bill to withdraw from the ICC, it does send a message. And that message is being sent in a context where, of course, Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto were quite resoundingly elected uh, earlier this year in the March presidential election. In fact, they avoided the need for a runoff in that presidential election in a context where the electorate, the electorate knew that uh, these men were facing those charges of crimes against humanity. So effectively here, while the International Criminal Court ostensibly is trying to find justice for the victims, there is a wider tension between the ICC and democracy in Kenya. <laughs> It's the first ICC trial of a sitting president and the stiffest challenge yet for a body that's been criticised for bias in Africa for only ever prosecuting Africans. Kenyatta's peaceful election in March helped erode once strong support for the court in Kenya. It opened the process after violence following the 2007 elections. The court will rule if the two men, along with a radio DJ, incited violence which cost 1,200 lives.